Motion tracking is now available inside VideoLeap. I'll show you how to use motion tracking with keyframes. I'll add a text layer and make sure it covers the entire video and then scrub back to the beginning. Double tap the text to edit it. Instead of adding some text, I'm going to tap on the globe on my keyboard and choose my emoji keyboard. Here I can choose any emoji that I want to. I'll choose a smiley face. Once I tap on it to select it, the text on screen will be replaced with my emoji at its usual size, like this. The next thing I need to do is increase the size of the emoji so that it covers the face you see in this video. I'll take two fingers, place them on screen, and spread them apart until the emoji is the size I need it to be. It needs to be pretty big. Now I'll tap the play button to play the video. Notice that the emoji covers the face pretty good except for at the end of the video. I need to use keyframes. I'll scrub back to the beginning of the video and expand the text layer by tapping on the balloon thumbnail so it looks like this. I'll place a keyframe at the beginning of the video because this is the start position. Then I'll manually scrub ahead and watch the video as I do so to make sure that they face does not become visible. You can manually add a keyframe using the keyframe marker. Once you do, a pink diamond will appear at the location of the playhead. I'll continue manually scrubbing forward and watch for any point where the face becomes visible. Here at the end you can see I need to make some adjustments. And I'll move the emoji to cover the face. When I do, a keyframe will be automatically added to the text layer at the location of the playhead. To collapse the text layer, just tap anywhere on screen like this. To expand it once more, tap on the balloon thumbnail and you can see that the keyframes I previously added are still there. To remove a keyframe, just select it so that it turns pink and tap the keyframe marker once more. That keyframe will be removed. And of course, to add a keyframe, tap on the keyframe marker at the location of the playhead. The problem with using keyframes to do motion tracking is that I often have to play the video clip several times and watch carefully to make sure that the object I'm using to hide my face or whatever other object I want to hide, properly covers the face. You'll notice as the playhead passes over each keyframe, that keyframe is highlighted and the position of the emoji is automatically corrected once the playhead passes over a keyframe. Now I'm going to add another clip and I'll do the same thing with that clip using VideoLeap's built-in motion tracking feature. 